So hi again, this is Sai Porsche. Thank you for dropping by. Ang topic natin today is about sorting your data with grand total. So sorting of data is one of the most common tasks that we use in Excel. And sorting a data range is sometimes the silent culprit why our data range is sometimes distorted or erroneous. So please watch this video on what is the best way on how we sort our data with grand total. Ang data natin ngayon is about graduates by discipline group for years 2003 and 2012. So this is our discipline and this is our years. Okay, the way to sort our data, there are two ways. We can go to home tab and we can go to sort and filter. So we can just select smallest to high to largest or largest to smallest may custom sort then. Pero ako, the way I sort my data, I go to data tab. The largest to smallest and then meron din custom sort. So to sort our data, all we need to do is we select a cell on a particular column that we need to sort by. Let's say gusto nating isort itong whole data range na to by sorting it based on the 2003 column data. So we just select anywhere on this 2003 column. You can sort smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So let's choose again. Let's say 2008. We can select smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So that's how we can sort easily. No? We just select a single cell from a particular column that we want to sort by. Just for demo purposes, I will just highlight this range here or this row here just to show na hindi tayo nagbe-break ng ating data once we sort it this way. So let's go back again. Let's go to data, sort by smallest to largest. The row is still complete. It's not distorted. We go to 2012, we sort it largest to smallest. So that's how we sort, no? The line is still okay. My problem lang kasi minsan we highlight a certain column. Let's say, let's highlight this certain column. Let's sort it by smallest to largest. Now, Excel will give us a sort warning. It says, Microsoft Excel found data next to your selection. Since you have not selected this data, it will not be sorted. So meaning if we proceed with our sorting, everything that is not highlighted will not be sorted. Merong sunod na tanong sa Excel, what do you want to do? Expand the selection or continue with the current selection. The right thing to do is expand the selection. So that's why it is pre-selected. So let's try to click sort. What Excel does is Excel sorted the whole data range. no? Even though you've only selected this certain column here. Let's go back again. Let's, let's highlight the same column. And then let's sort smallest to largest. Again, we have a sort warning, expand the selection. This time, we'll, we'll select continue with the current selection. So, if we selected this option here and then we click sort, what happened is only this selection will be sorted. So, as you can see, yung ating rows of yung ating selection, no, yung nakinulayan natin in yellow, is now being distorted. This part here is for the information technology. So as you can see, this whole column here is now distorted and will bring out some erroneous information about the numbers. So that's the reason that sometimes sorting data, selecting a, a specific range of data from our data range is the silent culprit. Why our data range is not correct or distorted or misaligned. So I'll undo it. So now, let's say, ang gusto naman natin, we have, we, we want to have a total, no? Total roast, and then we just want to have a grand total for each. So that's the grand total. So kulayan ko lang din ulit yung grand total natin just to make sure that it stays in one line, no? So now, ang sabi natin, the best way to sort is just to click one single cell inside a specific column that we want to sort by and then we hit 
we, we choose how do we sort the data. Smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So we have we have now total row. Let's try to do it. Ascending, that's fine. Kasi yung total naman is normally would be at the bottom. But once we select descending, the total rows will be sorted to be right at the top. And again, if we check the formula, it is not correct. So let's check how to do it correctly with a total row. So I'll just undo it. So the way to, to use sorting or the way to sort the data with a grand total is to turn our table into an Excel table no? or to turn our data into an Excel table. So what we need to do is we just select that data range. We can actually insert table here or the shortcut key is control T so we just click OK so if you don't know how to use Excel table yet meron akong video tutorial that I did siguro a few weeks ago that's that's two part series so if you want to know more about Excel table with please watch that video so all we need to do is we just click OK just uh, apply the my default formatting and also Excel has inserted another tab here in table design so let's just take out the design you can select any design one let's take out the filter button at the top ito mga filter button and we select total row so yung, yung Excel table we have the option to insert total rows down at the bottom no? so once I click it magkakaroon lang tayong total rows below for one column and for the other columns we need to insert total rows by going to that cell and selecting sum so we'll have to do it to all the columns okay we're done what we need to do next is we will just highlight the cell now para lang malaman natin na this is the total row and just for demo purposes that once we sort it that total row is not breaking up okay so we have two lines that or we have two rows that we we provide a color yellow and green so let's try to sort it we go to data and again we will just select one cell inside a specific column that we wanted to sort by so let's say I want to sort 2005 uh, let's say I want to sort this data based on the 2005 values so I want to sort it by largest to smallest okay so that total below stays that the total row stays below and then the information technology also stays in intact so let's try again this time smallest to largest let's select one more 2010 largest to smallest smallest to largest so that's how we sort our data with grand total we turn our data into an excel table and then we insert a total row and we can just sort normally or by selecting a single cell inside a particular column where you want that data range to be sorted by so thank you for listening and see you next time